Beach Relays, four runners and three baton changes. Most teams will run their fastest sprinter last and their weakest leg third. It is important the first leg is an impressive starter and also one of your faster runners. Apart from the ability of your runners, there is a lot of ground that can be gained by having good and fast changes. It's okay to learn the changes at a slower pace, but once you're well into it, all relay training sessions need to be done at full pace. Runners need to train to be able to take the baton as close to the line as they can, a little behind the line to be safe. Have all your runners pace out their starting position about seven or eight steps from the change line and always practice from the same position. The hands are held so as to make a V which the athlete looks through. In actual fact, the runner will end up taking the baton with one hand. But they need to practice this with two hands. Notice the outcoming runner is leaning forward and accelerating onto the baton. This means the incoming runner must hold the baton lower. If it's not held low enough, the outcoming runner will need to jump up to take the baton, and this disrupts the acceleration. The incoming runner needs to be far enough out to get to near top speed, about 40 metres at least. He needs to hold the baton upright and from the bottom. It needs to be held steady, and within good time for the outcoming runner to get a good look at it. Remember to train at top pace. Finish your training sessions with a full team run, first leg through to last leg. As their changes get faster, they will gain greater confidence, but let them all understand that with fast changes comes the chance of drop battens. Explain what they need to do in these situations, that is, pick it up and get going again as fast as possible. Let them all understand that these things do happen and all beach sprinters have sad stories to tell.